Hello, my name is Bob. Uh, welcome to my presentation of the history of Windows past to present. I recently did this for a class and decided I'd like to share it with everyone here. Uh, this is more the director's cut version. I did a, a abbreviated version in, for my class, but this is the full version. Uh, and here we go. In 1983, Microsoft announced the Windows 1.0 but it was never released and we can see screenshots of it here uh, fairly simple and the first real release was in 1985 with Windows 1.01 uh, it was basically a uh, Microsoft DOS program uh, you needed obviously Microsoft DOS 2.0, 256k RAM and a double-sided disk drive or a hard drive and a an adap graphics adapter card um, it featured things like calculator clock control panel uh, clipboard paint I uh, used a 16-bit graphical user f interface uh, like I said it was an MS-DOS program it wasn't uh, actually a full-fledged operating system um, and the window windows were tiled which means they didn't overlap each other uh, this was kind of due to an agreement with uh, Apple at the time uh, and it kind of sold poorly it wasn't very big but it was a start in 1987 we have Windows 2.03 uh, which now features uh, we first see Microsoft Word and Excel the windows are now overlapped and uh, with more sh keyboard shortcuts now we cry MS-DOS 3 uh, they updated the RAM a little bit to 512 uh, still need a double disk drive or hard drive uh, here's where the overlapping issue came uh, Apple kinda took offense to that and they sued Microsoft and HP due to similarity to their OS in 1990 we see the release of Windows 3.0 It was this was the real first successful release uh, they sold over 10 million copies of it had an improved user interface and now had stuff like program manager, control panel, and notepad and the popular solitaire. Uh, system Crimer still required MS-DOS 3.1, uh, 640k conventional memory and so on. Uh, now we see Windows 3.1. This was released in 1992 you now needed a, a, an IBM PS, PC 386 processor or higher, 2 megabyte of RAM, 8 megabytes of hard drive space, and a keyboard and a mouse. It starts looking more and more like the Windows as we know it today. Uh, it was backwards compatible to previous versions of Windows and MS DOS. It was becoming the dominant OS of the PC market. Microsoft, I found an interesting fact, I found Microsoft just stopped releasing licenses for it until to this past November 2008. Microsoft NT was the, uh, the operating system that Microsoft basically built from scratch. It was, it was part of a partnership that they had with IBM that kind of disintegrated before this came out. Uh, this is uh, Microsoft's version of it. Uh, it was a totally different uh, file system. It was not MS-DOS based. Um, it was mainly used as for businesses uh, and as either as a workstation or server. Uh, it had kind of higher uh, requirements as far as the system which and uh, had similar, it looks similar to the MS DOS version Windows 3.1. And here we come to Windows 95. This is the one I first remember using. Uh, this one sold over 1 million copies in Fort in the first four days of release, and it sold over 110 million in, in two years. Clearly, Microsoft hit a home run with this one. It had an improved graphical user interface and it had. had an improved taskbar and it had shortcuts. Uh, you had the first appearance of the start button. It, it still had MS DOS underneath, but it was ba basically 
used during boot up you didn't really see, uh, see it very much so you could see it in the MS-DOS prompt uh, Internet Explorer surprisingly was not included in the initial release but it was included in uh, updates Windows NT 4.0 was the continuation of the NT series uh, basically they added a Windows 95 interface to it it came in uh, several versions uh, either as a server terminal server workstation uh, like the other previous NT it was uh, used for businesses mainly and professional use and Windows 98 which released obviously in 1998 was considered more stable and reliable than the 95 version uh, Internet Explorer was more integrated into the graphical user interface and into Windows Explorer the second edition was released in 1999 also known as Windows 98 SE uh, this included the Internet Explorer 5.0 uh, they had for Windows 98 they uh, had some problems initially with the USB support but it, it was improved with the second edition and now now featured integrated DVD ROM drives uh, Windows 2000 Professional uh, this was another continuation of the NT based uh, Windows uh, like uh, the previous versions they were used mainly as business or as a server either as a server or workstation uh, they added many of the features that were found in Windows 2000 Windows 98 Windows Millennium Edition also known as Windows ME was released in September 2000 uh, this is basically a, an upgrade of the Windows uh, MS-DOS base it was uh, they had an enhanced internet and multimedia features uh, included uh, items like system restore we first see that in the Windows Movie Maker it was the first operating system to, to feature that for Windows uh, it was criticized for being unstable I personally had some problems with it too and I actually went back to Windows 98 and found it to be pretty solid uh, it was the last this was the swan song for the MS-DOS based uh, Windows 98 Windows operating systems and here we come to Windows XP this was released in October 2001 uh, this was the merging of the two uh, operating system lines the the NT base and the MS DOS based Windows uh, this also had the uh, this also served as the the longest duration as the current version for Windows it had several different versions including home edition professional uh, media center uh, they went for tablet PC embedded the 64-bit edition we come to Windows Vista. This was released in January 2007. Uh, that featured enhanced security. It had a fancy arrow GUI interface. It had new applications like a ca built-in calendar, uh, DVD maker. This has been highly criticized for high system requirements, restrictive licensing, and the inclusion of DRM technology. Some users with problems have uh, many businesses and homes have uh, actually downgraded to XP uh, I've I've used it a couple of times though not on a regular basis and I didn't have any personal problems with it but apparently some have uh, they have uh, different versions they come in in home basic home premium uh, business enterprise and ultimate what is this is the future Windows 7 is slated for release either in late 2009 or 2010 uh, they, they promise to have new features in touch voice and handwriting recognition uh, improved performance on multi-core processors support and more support for virtual hard disks this should get a view of the past and present I thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed this and thank you and have a great day.